This is President Obama's decision, and I am not going to second-guess him because I was in a position to set this in motion, and I do not think that would be the right thing to do. So I want to wait and see what he and Secretary Kerry decide. If it's undecided when I become president, I will answer your question. Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail yesterday telling voters she won't give an answer on the Keystone Pipeline unless the issue is not resolved by the time she enters the Oval Office. Mrs. Clinton refused to give a straight answer after, the, after uh, someone asked her about that controversial project during a town hall meeting in New Hampshire. So is this approach going to help or hurt her campaign for president. I kind of got an inkling where this thing may go. Uh, let's call on our political panel. Uh, back again from Newsmax New York, Rick Unger, the senior political contributor for Forbes.com and co-host of The Daily Wrap here on Newsmax TV. And from Newsmax Washington, we welcome back noted Republican strategist Ford O'Connell. Ford, to you first. So she's saying, I'll, I'll have an answer for you when I'm president. Uh, is, is this a smart move, Ford? Well, it's a phony answer from a calculating and an authentic candidate. Here's the deal. She doesn't want to give an answer, and for her to say that she's waiting for Obama is absolute garbage. Whichever way she picks, she's going to put herself crosswise with a certain segment of the Democratic primary voter, whether it's the Greenies or the unions. And she knows that if she sides with the Greenies and goes against Keystone, she's actually going to put herself in trouble in the general election because the Republicans will bop her overhead with the independents. She doesn't want to answer this question. She's going to try to foot drag as long as possible. And Guess what? This is not the only major issue she hasn't taken a stand on. What about trade? What about fracking? This is a phony answer from a fake candidate. Well, along those lines, Rick Unger, transparency is something voters say Hillary just does not possess. So when she goes out and stays quiet on uh, the Keystone Pipeline issue, what does that mean to her campaign? Well, actually, I think it's interesting. I, I got a kick out of, out of Ford's kind of rabid speech there. He actually called her a fake candidate. You may not like her, but I think she's a real candidate. Um, look, she's in a tough spot here, I got to say. You're not supposed to disclose what you advise a president when you're in his cabinet. And the Secretary of State does make a recommendation on something like the, uh, the pipeline. It was the State Department that went through the research on it. I do think you're missing the story, though. My suspicion is, is that if she were in agreement with the president, I got a feeling she'd say so. I think it's much more likely that she's not talking because she disagrees with the president, which means she may very well support the Keystone Pipeline and isn't anxious to, to get in the way on that. Plus, she probably realizes that she tries to appeal to the left side of her party. Maybe the fact that she did support the Keystone Pipeline may not play that well. A uh, gentleman, two and a half minutes wait, remain. Wait, 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 Rick, gotta, a couple of things okay. here. For her to okay. not take a stance on something that she oversaw in the State Department, and we studied for five years, which was longer than the U.S. was engaged in World War II, is absolutely ludicrous. I do agree with you. She took a stance on the Iran deal. That's not settled in Congress yet because she agrees with the president. But I'm going to tell you something. She's more concerned about the general election, and that's exactly why. She knows that she opens the door for Biden if she sides with the Greenies in the Democratic primary. All right, let's go to another topic. The Department of Justice announced today charges have been filed against Pennsylvania Democrat Representative Chaka Fatah for corruption. Rick, uh, your take on this. Well, you got to wait and see how it plays out, but it's a pretty disturbing story. I was glad to see that he uh, stepped down from his leadership role. I suspect that may have been a forced step down, but it was certainly the right thing to have happen. You can't have somebody in the position that he is currently in uh, filling a leadership role. Uh, Ford, we Wait, remember... Are you serious? Go ahead. This is one of the worst kept secrets in Washington. Basically, the indictment has 29 charges. He ran for mayor in 2006. He needed to pay a campaign debt. He directed federal money to a fake nonprofit and then paid off the people that he owed money to. This has actually been going on in Congress, more so on the left, but also on the right. We've actually had more than two dozen people indicted since 1980. The people should be outraged, regardless of political party here, because essentially they're, they're using their office and the people people's money to push their own political interests. Uh, gentlemen, final Jamie, topic, a I, minute can remains. I, can I, wait, 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 I gotta do something. Here. Can right. I remind Ford of something? This is still the United States of America. He's been indicted, it's alleged. 
it's, he's allegedly guilty of those things. Let's not cash it in because you don't like him or his party. All right, he's fine. allegedly guilty. Well, well, duly duly, duly noted, noted well, gentlemen, well, I need your, your thoughts on uh, this topic. Uh, a lot of religious leaders still concerned after the Boy Scouts of America said they would lift the ban on allowing gay scout yeah. leaders. Should gay leaders be allowed in the scouts? Ten seconds each. Rick, you first. I think yes, but I don't know why they're concerned because the directive was crystal clear that if it offends your religious sensibilities and you are a religious institution, as 70% of the sponsors of Boy Scouts are, you don't have to accept them. Ford, what about it? Yes or no? It's going to happen one way or the other. So guess what? The Boy Scouts better be prepared for this. All right, gentlemen, we thank you for your time.